let's have some fun.
Boss Kids. We are back with you week two in our Ninja series. Today we're going to be focusing on strength and the strength that we get from God. So for our first game, we got a little bit of PE, a little bit of movement for you guys with Miss Ivory. Hi. And Miss Micah. Hey guys. And so we are going to do some push-ups, all right? I'm actually going to join in on the fun, all right? So Ivory, you're going to come drop and give me as many as you can give me. You're going to face that wall though. So you're going to have your feet this way, scoot in a little bit, scoot in just a little bit, and you're going to face that way. Micah, same thing, opposite way. And I'm going to face forward. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. No. All right. Wait, wait, I'm not either. Whoever does the most. Okay. All right. Did you want to stop? Yeah. Continue? No, you cannot stop them. You got to go straight. Oh. All right. Are we ready? Yep. All right. Drop down. You can do girl push-ups. Actually, no. Let's do the hard ones. Uh -huh. you guys actually do do girl hard ones. Hard ones. So we can push ourselves. Are we ready? Yeah. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, <laughs> ten. <laughs> 11, 12, 13. Are you still going, Micah? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Micah won because I didn't start till I 9. So. <laughs> yes, but that is because my strength is not in my arms. It is on the good Lord above. So amen, hallelujah, welcome to church. But that being said, are you guys ready for your next game? Games, yes. All right. Hey, boss kids, we are ready for round two for our game and our ninja depending on God's strength lesson. Micah and Ivory have two spoons. Show your spoons, ladies. They have two spoons. The catch for this game is they can only use one hand. They can use any other part. If they want to use their toes, if they want to use their mouth, whatever it may be, wherever the spirit leads you, as Pastor Daryl says. But you can only use one hand and whatever else. You can have the two spoons. And your goal, Ivory has the red chair. Micah has the purple chair is to bring your marshmallows into the box. The first person to get the marshmallows into the box wins. The only catch is they, cannot, they can only use one hand. Their other hand has to be behind, their, be behind their back. You'll have to think about it. Last week, we learned about being a ninja and being wise and thinking about our decisions. This week, I want to see if you guys can apply it. Now, I don't know. If it falls off the chair, though. Then it falls off the chair. You got to get all five marshmallows. Can we use them now? You can. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. On your marks. Be careful. Don't fall, cause uh, if you fall, I don't know where the band aids are. You may go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yep. You can do more than one. You can do more than one. You can do more than one. <laughs> No, one hand, one hand. <laughs> I, Micah, you missed. <laughs> All right. I want us at home to think. Come here, Ivory. Come here, Micah. One out of one. I want us to think. What was the rule? The rule was that you cannot use one hand. Notice, what was the first thing you guys decided to do? Mouse. You had a whole other hand. You could have picked up a handful of marshmallows and put them in the box. <laughs> this is why I said I about that too. to I think, <laughs> to think before we act and use all of our resources, right? Like a ninja, they're wise, they're patient, they think, they think about the consequences and they move forward. You're out of breath and it's okay. I'm kind of out of breath watching you guys, but really great job. Cool. Thank you guys for playing. Let's go ahead and wave bye and let's jump into our lesson. Bye you guys. Bye. Hey kiddos, so today we are going to pick back up with our lesson and we are going to learn how God wants to strengthen us with his word. Micah, can you hold up the Bible? So our Bible here, this is God's word. So whenever we talk about the word of God, this is God's word. Mm -hmm. So Micah, you know something you never really see in terms of ninjas? Yep. Take a guess, go. Hmm, them like hiding in oh. the shadow. Hiding in the shadows. I feel like ninjas usually do hide in the shadows because mm -hmm. they're trying to be like really discreet and hide, yeah. right? It's a good point. What I was thinking is we never really see an out of shape ninja, mm -hmm. right? A ninja who's out of shape. When you see ninjas in movies or comic books or anywhere else, ninjas are always in super shape, 
right? Because they have to be in peak physical health, right? Mm -hmm. Can't relate, but you know, to be a ninja, you have to be in peak physical health. They're solid muscle without, without a bit of flab on their bodies, right? They're trim, they're lean, mm -hmm. and they're mean, right? Trim, yep. lean machines, I like that. Ninjas don't keep their bodies in that shape by eating gummy bears or mm -hmm. candy bars, right? That's why I can't relate, because I like gummy bears. Me I like too. candy bars, right? But ninjas eat right. They exercise consistently, they work out. Ninjas have to take care of their health, so that way they can perform their duties to the best of their abilities and they can execute all the missions that they have to do, right? They mm -hmm. can do amazing things with their bodies, right? Ninjas are yeah. in top shape, it's crazy. Have you ever seen a martial artist kick a wooden board in two or in half? Yes. That is insane, right? Or have you ever seen one where they break a stack of concrete blocks with their bare yeah. hand or even their head? Yeah, that's crazy. That is insane. It's an amazing trick, but it's a trick that relies on a lot more than just physical strength and being strong, right? The people who break boards know exactly where to hit those boards. So there's something known as like a soft spot, a weak spot, and that is where they hit those boards so they can break them. It's not just from being super strong, right? They're yep. not relying on their own strength. They're relying on their training, on strategy and skill. And that's how they can do exactly what they do. It's pretty awesome. I think it would be really cool to be awesome. trained in that. But oh, like yeah. I said, I like gummy bears and candy bars. Yeah, so I don't know if that would fit us. Yeah, I agree. Proverbs. Can everyone say Proverbs? Proverbs. proverbs. I like that. High five. I like that. Proverbs talks about health and strength, but not the physical kind, right? God is concerned with our spiritual health and our strength. The world we live in can throw some huge challenges our way. I think now, even with oh. kids, Micah, you guys know there's a lot of challenges, right? Yep. What's one challenge as a kid you feel like you have? Um, well, I actually took a test today in school, and that was a big challenge. Ooh, tests. I know a lot of you guys out there probably, when you hear the word test, it's kind of just like, oh, no, yeah. right? Tests are hard. And even Zoom learning, that was a challenge oh, a yeah. lot of you guys had to get used to, right? Mm -hmm. So we have like a student, and then I'm on the other side as a teacher. A lot of us had to change these things, right? Yeah. We don't get to see our friends. We oh, don't yeah. get to have recess and all these things. That's yeah, sad. I agree. It is sad. So hopefully this challenge we can overcome, but it is something that we can and do overcome with the strength from God. Yep. Right? So the world we live in, like I said, it can throw some huge challenges our way. Stuff that's harder than breaking concrete blocks or even wooden boards, right? Yep. But God wants us to lean and be lean, mean Bible ninjas, so that way we can face these challenges with confidence, with strength, and everything that He provides for us. So when something comes along that's too much for our strength, because we're just human, right? Yeah. God wants us to rely on His strength. So that said, Micah, can you read from our Bible and the Word of God? Can you read Proverbs chapter 3, verses 3 through 12, nice yes. and loud? My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart. For they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and poverty. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on your table tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled with overflowing, and your vats will burn over with new wines. My son, do not despite the Lord's discipline, and do not resent his rebuke, because the Lord disciplines those he loves as a father, the son he delights in. Awesome. High five. Thank you, ma'am. So in this verse, we see that God tells us to write these things on the tablet of our heart. Can you guys show me where your heart is? Right here on our heart. But we can't really take a pencil and write something on our heart, right? Yeah. So the Bible is a very figurative book, right? It means it's not literal. So yeah. when we're writing God's word on our heart, sometimes it's not necessarily in our heart, but our mind, right? Yeah. Micah, what's a song that if you hear the song, you know the words to it? 
Well, I don't know a specific song, but usually there's an app called TikTok. Oh. And usually they have songs there, and like when I hear it, like, oh, I know this song, I know the lyrics. This is true. And I know you guys back home, too, know this one, right? You know different songs that will play, and you hear them. The way God wants us to remember his word and write it in our hearts and minds is the same way we remember these songs. So when you hear mm -hmm. those first words of that song, like Micah, she hears a song, she's like, oh, I know that song, right? I know yep. I think like Coco Melon is like a hot cartoon with you guys. You hear that Coco Melon, and yeah. then you know all the words, right? This is the same way when we're having challenges or we're struggling, whether it's school, it's friends, we feel that emotion and we know what verse that God has given us in the Bible to think about. That mm -hmm. is the same way. That's essentially what God is telling us when he wants us to write his word on our hearts or in our minds, right? Yeah. So King Solomon is the one who wrote Proverbs. I want you guys to say King Solomon. King, King Solomon. Solomon. Let's try to say it as fast as we can. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. King, King Solomon. Solomon. Ah, oh, that was good. <laughs> so King Solomon in the book of Proverbs, he says a lot, right? There's a lot in this chapter. Yeah. He tells us that we need to trust in God and not our own understanding, which is huge because we're huge because we're humans and we're flawed, right? He tells yes. us that we need to trust God and follow his teachings. He tells us that we should avoid sin and pride. Yes. And we need to listen when God corrects us so that we can stay on the right path. But there's a tricky word in here. Micah, can you tell me what do you think pride means? To avoid pride. When I say pride, what do you think of? What comes to mind? Like another word to be like, have pride or be proud of yourself. Yes, Come on, let's do a dab this time. Good job, yes. So pride is like when someone has like a big head, right? If you guys, I don't know if this is before your time, these airhead commercials. Have you ever seen airhead? Yeah. And their hair, their head blows up. It's people are getting a big head, right? Yep. So another way to describe pride is when people get too confident, they get too much pride and they're too proud. And that can be a path downwards, right? It's not a very good path. Yeah. So the key to spiritual health is to listen to God, right? We gain mm -hmm. spiritual health by reading God's word, just like we gain physical health by working out. Like Micah, she had that physical health with those push-ups oh, yeah. earlier. Not I. That's why I started <laughs> at nine. That's because I don't work out enough daily, right? But mm -hmm. we can get spiritual health from reading our Bible daily and listening to worship songs daily, right? Yes. So God is going to give us strength to overcome temptation. He'll give us strength to overcome sadness and grief and strength to endure persecution. Micah, can you say that word for me one more time? Persecution. Good. Persecution is hard because that's a lot of the time when people are saying really, maybe really mean things about you. They're coming for you. All these things, right? But no matter what, God gives us strength to get through that. When we rely on God, we'll have the strength to overcome anything. Anything. Yes. So there are two ways we can draw strength from God. Like I said earlier, we can build our strength by reading God's word. The Bible is full of all kinds of wisdom, just like we found in Proverbs. The yeah. Bible teaches us that we can learn right from wrong. It teaches us how to handle just about any situation any. anywhere, right? Including dealing with bullies, look, helping those in need, standing up for God, all of that. The Bible also teaches us that when we have a God who loves us, he, he gave us his own son, and that is just the showing of showing us how much God loves us, right? That's it's a the, lot of love. Yes, it is. It is the nourishment we need to have a, a healthy spirit. Micah, do you know what nourishment is? Um, to nourish somebody, like, um, like when you, like, uh, there's two meanings, right? Maybe. Try it out. Go ahead. Because one thing, usually my mom says, like, when you nourish a baby, mm -hmm. or like, like loving them and helping them out. Oh, that's good. I like that. Shout out to Micah's mom. That's a really good one. <laughs> In this sense, with nourishment, what do you need when you're hungry? Food. Exactly. And like you said, with the babies, they need love, right? Yeah. So a lot of the time with nourishment, it's what we need, right? The Bible is a nourishment. It's what we need in order for us to have a healthy spirit. Just as good food and exercise will help keep our body and our mind strong, the Word of God will make our spirit healthy and strong. And that's Real why strong. we have to read from it from every day, for every day. The second way to build our strength is prayer. That's a big one. And it's sometimes Huge. a hard one. Right? I'll, yeah. I'll admit, sometimes I pray at night and I fall asleep and oh, yeah. I feel bad. And then I realize it's because I feel safe. When I'm praying and I fall asleep, it's because that is my safe space. And But I don't want to give God when I'm just tired at the end of the day to pray, right? So yeah. I've made it so now I sit up when I'm praying so I don't just fall asleep, right? It's like we're on the phone with our friend and we fall asleep. It's kind yeah. of rude, right? Let's not, let's not be like that. <laughs> so the second way is through prayer. And we can pray for God's help. God knows that we don't have the strength for every challenge that comes our way. And he wants to give us all the strength that he can. 
All we have to do is ask and God will always be faithful to help us. Always. So just like ninjas take excellent care of their bodies, they eat right, they exercise, mm -hmm. they know their limitations. Like my push-ups earlier, I know my limitations. Mm -hmm. When we feed ourselves with God's word, we'll be ready to face all of our challenges anytime and we will seek to start to build our spiritual muscles. So let's feed ourselves on God's word and mm -hmm. let's ask God in prayer to make us strong. Micah, do you want to close us out in prayer this week? Yes. I love it. I love it. All right. So let's bow our heads, bring our hands out, bring them in front, bring them in tight when you're ready. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, Lord, please bless whoever is watching us on this screen. And Lord, please bless everyone on this earth right now and that you will nourish ourselves and that uh, all the kids that are watching this will learn something new that they never knew. Mm -hmm. And Lord, please bless the people that don't know you, Lord, so we we people as knowing you can tell them who you are and lord thank you for all you have done and please nourish our bodies and thank you for all you have done and dying on the cross for our sins amen amen thank you micah for helping us out with this mm -hmm. lesson we will see you guys all later bye, bye.